Hi, I'm Tommy Biffle. We're over here at Lake Ten Killer over here in Oklahoma, northeastern Oklahoma, kind of. And uh, we're going to throw the Alabama rig today. We've got uh, some new baits from Gene LaRue. It's a uh, sweet swimmer. We're going to try to catch them on that, on the Alabama rig. And should catch largemouth and smallmouth over here. This Alabama rig, you know, is something that's been around really a long time, but uh, just kind of hit the bass fishing market this year. It's a six inch wire with a, with a swivel on it. You put five baits or really any, any kind of baits on it. Uh, seem like the preferred bait's a swim bait. It makes them, you know, look like it's a little school shad bait fish swimming. And, and uh, they just seem like they can't resist it. The color I'm throwing is uh, smoke silver that uh, Gene LaRue makes. It just sparkles and shines. And you know, now this is a shad looking bait. It really looks like a shad or my crawdad and my, my biffle bug is a creature bait. And people really didn't relate to why would you throw that bait in a smoke silver color? That is the best color you can get because it just looks like a bait fish that sparkles and shines. And uh, that's always been one of my number one colors. But looking at those birds back there, that tells me those shad, there's a lot of shad back there. The loons, you know, they're a diving bird and they'll go down and bring that school up to the top. And when those shad get up on top, you'll see those seagulls starting flying, diving. That's how they get their bait. But there's a lot of them back there, so we should catch fish back there somewhere. If I was gonna catch these smallmouth, I would throw my biffle bug on the hard head in the back of these pockets, if they're in the backs of them, the flatter type banks. And then if I was going to largemouth fish, uh, you know, jerking a rogue this time of year is real good. Uh, a jig or the bug on the hard head and mainly fishing bigger rock, uh, bigger rock banks, almost bluff type banks. But we're, we're throwing this Alabama rig right now and it's been catching both. Well, the fish aren't biting good at all. And uh, I put three different colors on, two different kind of baits, just to see if color matters or a different bait or different different action. And uh, so we've got three different colors of baits on there, two different kinds. There's one. See if it's a small mouth or large mouth. Looks like a little small mouth. A little small mouth, not, not exactly what we were after, but. He bit it on a slow retrieve and that's just a small, small mouth for this lake and he bit the outside one, which is a smaller bait. It's a three inch bait. And uh, that kind of tells you that they're maybe wanting a smaller bait instead of the bigger bait in the middle. But we'll go let him go and see if we can catch a bigger one here in a minute. That particular small mouth kind of hit it, not real hard. And uh, you know, really didn't know if it's a small mouth or large mouth there for a minute, but Usually the small mouth will hit it real hard and a large mouth will bump it a lot of times. You know, it's been a pretty tough bite out here today and uh, it's a nice day, beautiful day, but the conditions have been pretty tough and the fish hadn't been biting very well. And uh, that little small mouth, you know, you can't catch them at home sitting on the couch. So you got to get out there, get after it. Uh, it's a beautiful day, it's February 1st or 2nd. and. Uh, you know, just get out there and, and fish. You know, we've changed two or three different baits, two or three different patterns, a uh, couple of different baits, but you just gotta get out there and try to figure out what they want and what they're doing.